Ladies and gentlemen, let us talk about the brouhaha between Nigeria and South Africa that has been ongoing from the situation of Chidima Adichina to the Uber situation to the ongoing illegal foreigner a whole lot has gone down most times I talk about these things on my channel if you've been following my content you would know that I've been talking about this not necessarily um, things pertaining to illegal foreigners or whatnot, but I've been airing my two cents on my experience living in South Africa basically. So from the situation of Chidima down to the Uber situation, there has been scuffles between Nigeria and South Africa over the years, okay, but I think this year it skyrocketed, okay. So and I decided not to talk about it while it was still hot because I didn't want it to seem to look like I'm jumping on trends because I see a lot of people jumping on it and you know even those who don't live in South Africa people who are not that haven't experienced the Nigerian community and the South African community a lot of people have a lot of things to say but I decided to you know come on here and drop my two cents okay have you ever wondered why there are a set there's this set of people who would never fight there are sets of Nigerians and South Africans who are never going to fight or have any scuffle or even disagree in, on, in things that are unnecessary, if I will say so. And those people understand the, the importance of collaboration. Those people understand the importance of doing things together. Okay? So, when I look at it, I decided to speak about it because I'm in that industry and I have decided to only speak about the things I am sure of, hence I am dropping my two cents. Stay with me. This industry is the beauty and fashion industry. We are never going to fight. We are never going to have scuffles. We are never going to throw unnecessary banters among ourselves. I have proof. I have proof. But what I'm telling you, the people who are in the beauty industry here in South Africa, we have this relationship that we have with each other. We have this bond with each other. And that bond is unbreakable. And I wish this bond extends to other industries. Okay. So, welcome back to my channel, guys. <laughs> Pardon my manners. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Chima. I am a YouTuber who is based in South Africa. So, and on this channel, I put out beauty related content. I put out my life here, living in South Africa basically. Once in a while, I also drop, you know, things that are going on around me here in South Africa and I talk about it. So, moving on, when it comes to the beauty industry, we all know, aside the American and the UK girlies, the Nigerian industry has a lot to offer the nigerian industry has been the pioneer of the makeup and beauty industry here in africa in recent in recent times now in the last five six years nigerians have been like trendsetters and south africans are buying into that market as well okay so when i see a lot of people banter on social media about nigeria must go south africa must go nigerians this nigerian that Yes, if you've been following my channel, you will know I've talked about the bad eggs and how to fish them out. It's left for our government officials and people in government to, to really, really do something about, you know, fishing out the bad, bad eggs and making them pay for whatever wrongs they are doing. But what annoys me so much is the fact that people tend to generalize when it comes to South Africans. People tend to say, no, South Africans are lazy and um, Nigerians are, are drug dealers or whatever. I don't want to even use that word on my channel, but um, when people say these things, I it baffles me a lot because if you're dealing, if you if you are open-minded to deal with Nigerians, if you're open-minded to deal with South Africans, so do business with them, you will know that not even eighty percent of these people are bad. Okay, but because evil evil flies a lot, because bad news, you know, flies a lot that's what you tend to hear but with my channel i've decided to you know spread positivity spread the good things that are that is going on within my industry with South nigerians and south africans okay so when it comes to the beauty industry okay the makeup industry and the hair industry to be specific a lot of south africans have learned what they know from nigerians and vice versa when it comes to our makeup and hair industry we've had a number of Nigerians coming to South Africa to teach South Africans 
the, the beauty business, how to do the beauty business. And I'm gonna just leave some of them here on the screen so you can see for yourself, see the number of ladies who have learned a lot from from Nigerian makeup artists and Nigerian hairstylists. And we are doing this and we love it. In a lot of South Africans, I've come to say, the Nigerian industry has made them what they are today. The Nigerian industry has helped them, the Nigerian beauty industry has helped them build their brands, build their careers and whatnot. They are products. Let's talk about the Nigerian makeup products. Here in South Africa, I can categorically tell you that if makeup artists are 100 in South Africa, 80 of the makeup artists here in South Africa uses Nigerian products. 80% of their kits is Nigerian products. No cap, go do your researches. And also, when it comes to the beauty industry here in South Africa as well, I have um, a brand like Havila Beauty. If you know Havila Beauty, she has extended her market to the Nigerian market as well. Okay, this is what the beauty industry is doing. This is what Nigeria and South Africa is doing in terms of the, the, the beauty industry. And we all know the beauty industry impacts a lot into the gpa of any society it impacts a lot into the capital of every society you can do your research on that so when i see people talking down on all nigerians and whatnot i'm like no we are doing big things together is it the fashion industry if you watched the recent uh, miss South africa show you will see that bonang's dresses all bonang's dresses were made by a nigerian fashion designer vicky james so if Nigeria is not in, is not doing something, a South Africa would not want to associate with them. Okay, let me even go down. I have a client of mine who always buys her dresses from a Nigerian vendor, and I specifically am the one who who you know does the transaction for her. All her dresses, all her dresses, are made by a Nigerian fashion designer. So you see, we are working together. We are working together. Don't let anybody deceive you. Don't let, let anyone tell you, um, oh, South Africans are bad. Nigerians and South Africans are killing themselves. No, we are not. We are trying to collaborate. We are trying to do business together. Is it the hair industry? I've had, we've had people who have come here to teach South Africans how to do the new installation style, how to make hair and whatnot. Same with South Africans. Like, Click on your ignore, bu ignore button when you see these people talk down on Nigerians, when you see these people talk down on South Africans. Most people are just doing it for the content. Most people are just doing it for the mere fact that TikTok is paying. Yes, I'm going to say it. People are doing it for the mere fact that um, Facebook is paying. So they just need to jump on trends and say things without facts. Okay? So on this channel, henceforth, I would come out here and speak my my mind on facts on things that i know that is true and that is not true i'm just gonna come on here and debunk things that i know are not facts and for sure in this video if you're not gonna take anything take the fact that nigerians and south africans are collaborating they're doing business together we have a lot of um, nigerian photographers and south african photographers that are doing things together nigerian movie industry beauty industry the music industry we have a lot of nigerians who are collaborating and doing things together okay and with this video you would spread positive share this video to as much people as possible so that they would know that we are not here we are not eating ourselves already we're not killing ourselves what the people are trying to do and what the government is saying is they want everybody to be legalized and which is totally correct which is 100 percent okay but what i don't want is a situation whereby people are saying that no good comes out of nigerians or no good comes out of south africa which is a lie it is a lie a lot of people already have things to do with their life a lot of people have made hands meet with the fact that a nigerian taught them this a south african taught them that me personally i have students who have trained under me i have people who i have taught for free as a matter of fact where i was based in Limpopo before the lady who took over my play, my salon i taught her this business for free i never asked her for a dime so this is how we are contributing into the community this is how we are trying to help the community where we find ourselves in but the fact that bad news the fact that bad news spreads so fast doesn't mean good things 
do not happen a lot of good things are happening and please be part of the good things and nigeria and south africa we are going to you know we are going to do great things thank you so much for watching this video i hope it wasn't all over the place i hope you understood the point i'm trying to make here in this video and hopefully i would you know release more content thank you very very much if you haven't subscribed to my channel please click on that red subscribe button and leave me a comment in the comment section tell me what you think tell me what you think about what i've just said about the beauty industry in south africa and the beauty the fashion and beauty industry in nigeria leave it down in the comment section thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next one bye